I said, nearly all the fellas there in Jewel Ridge, where I spent my summers, were coal miners. And in our family, all of them pretty much were, except for this one fella, and he was the outlier. There's always one outlier in their family, isn't there? And that was my Uncle Roy Lee, my grandmother's oldest brother. Now, you see, Uncle Roy Lee, he knew even when he was just a little boy that he liked to tell other people what to do. And he figured in the coal mines he wasn't going to have too many chances for that. So he better find another vocation. And so he was the first person in our family to go to university. And he became what you would call a headmaster. And he told people what to do his whole life and was really happy. <laughs> but Uncle Roy Lee did go down in the mines for one summer. And that's because it was going on senior year of high school. And he wanted to go on as many dates as possible before he went off to university the next year. And you see, he had the looks department covered because Uncle Roy Lee was like the George Clooney of Jewel Ridge. He was terribly <laughs> handsome, but he didn't have a car. And so he figured if he went down in the mines that one summer, he'd get enough money so he could buy one and go on all those dates. And that's just what he did. And at the end of the summer, he had enough money to go down to the Chevy dealership in Richlands, Virginia, and he bought a pink Chevy. Now that was a really wise color choice because all the girls in Tazewell County in the early 1950s wanted to ride around in that pink car. And Uncle Roy Lee went on ever so many dates and he met his future bride-to-be, my Aunt Phyllis, but in fact he was so popular at carting everybody in Tazewell County around in that car that he was crowned the May Day King at the end of school year, <laughs> which I feel was more significant to my family than him going to university because that is the picture that remains in the hallway at home is Uncle Roy Lee in his gold lame crown in his pink car. <laughs> and he would tell us this story at breakfast and at lunch and at dinner and the next morning at breakfast. <laughs> and I started to worry about him until I realized that Uncle Roy Lee was doing what only he does best. He was saying that should you write a song about me, which you really should. It should be about me and my pink car. And that's how he came to write this song, which is called The Tazwell Beauty Queen. <laughs> Just a dream. 